And I'm sorry if you disagree with my opinion. I'm old school, where back in the day people were allowed to have different opinions, and it wasn't a punishable offense. But now that we got the thought police, I guess things have changed. You've been warned. Dark matter, antimatter, gold. Pure gold. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News present. Oh my god, I'm in dark matter world. This is a dark matter matter. Hello, science. Dark matter. Dark matter! You know, back in the day, people used to believe that there were evil mastermind scientists. Now that theory is no longer as popular as it used to populate all comic books, movies, and television. Now it's like scientists and uh, science are at their most popular peak. And I don't know, it seems like a few of those evil mastermind scientists have dark energy coming out of their ass, coming out of their mind, coming out of their mouth. I mean, we're pumping billions and trillions into dark energy research. And since 9-11, 2001, it does feel like Earth is being slowly submerged in dark energy. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I enjoy happiness, laughter, good times, family, friends, good eats, hugs, kisses, animals, sightseeing, having fun, adventuring. You can take dark energy and shove it up your butt, Joe Boo. Anyway, anyway. How about we get to the science? The Daily Galaxy, Great Discoveries Channel, January 30th, 2016. The Dark Energy Enigma. The entire universe is being pushed by an unknown force no one can locate. Well, can I say that's hilarious? Dark energy is incredibly strange. But actually, it makes sense to me that it went unnoticed. Oh, well, what? Hashtag seems legit. What goofball said this crap? Said Nobel Prize winning physicist Adam Rees in an interview. Wait, you can say dumb crap like that and win a Nobel Prize? Wonderful. I wonder if that dilutes the prestige of Barack Obama's Nobel Peace Prize as he drone strikes across 11 nations chasing a phantom rogue state. Hey, Bush did it too, man. You know, I think JFK was probably the last president we had. And then dark energy began to take over. I hope he doesn't say anything else dumb. I have absolutely no clue what dark energy is, said Nobel Prize winning Physicist Adam Rees. Wow, did he get his Nobel Prize from that sentence? I have no idea what dark energy is. I studied it my whole life, and I got no clue. I've studied it my whole life, and I got no clue. You know, it's like, yeah, give that man a prize and cash. He's a genius. You see, dark energy appears strong enough to push the entire universe. Wait, the entire universe? Where does it begin? Where does it end, buddy? How can you push it if it doesn't have a front, a back, and a middle? Like, I can push a car... That's because the car has a front, a back, and a middle. Or the car's got to be in neutral. I mean, if it's in park, I got no hope. I'm not that strong. You know, I'm not. Yet the source of dark energy is unknown. Its location is unknown, and its physics are highly speculative. Holy crap, can we give that guy a second Nobel Prize? This is like the funnest, coolest article I've read all day. <sighs> we don't know anything about dark energy, so can I have more billions to study it? I promise when we figure out what dark energy is, we can weaponize it. And control the world. I believe in dark energy. It's kind of like black magic, blood magic. You know? I mean, it's taking negative emotions and then controlling people with it for your own personal gain and power. And it seems like we got a lot of that crap going on on Earth right now. So God bless everyone. It's always darkest before the dawn. There are several theories for the identity of dark energy. It may be energy generated by ghostly subatomic particles that appear out of nothing before annihilating. Yeah, it may. I said in a video before, trying to say this may have happened or this is possible. I was like, yeah, man, you know, ooh, that's some hard science there. Like fire will burn you, and dark energy may be generated by ghostly particles that annihilate themselves into nothing. It may associated with the recently confirmed Higgs field, which gives certain kinds of matter mass, or it may be explained by string theory by which extra invisible dimensions of space get compressed into sizes much smaller than atoms. Or it may be explained by a giant flying jello monster that is pushing the universe like an ice cream cart across a park. Some theorists believe it's an example of fine tuning that demands the existence of a multiverse to explain it. Or you mean like God, a divine architect? Because if you got a house, you usually got an architect. You have something that is put together in such a magical, spectacular way that it took a trillion variables to all come together in one magic cake-like planetary batter. To me, that points at some type of a divine architect, god-like figure. And you know what? But science isn't big on that. But science is not a fan of God because you can't see God. You can't take pictures of God. 
hey, they believe in dark energy and dark matter. Can't see it. Can't take pictures of it. Can't smell it. Can't touch it. Can't feel it. So what's the difference? You know, almost all physicists agree that if the amount of energy in the universe were slightly different, life could never have emerged. That's what I was just saying. We're kind of saying the same things, except I'm saying God. And you guys are saying dark energy, dark matter. And honestly, I believe science and faith can peacefully coexist. And Isaac Newton, the godfather of science, agrees with me. And on your on your side, you got Neil deGrasse Tyson, Phil Plait, and Bill Nye. And personally, no offense to those guys, I think Isaac Newton, WTF, pawns them all. The amount of dark energy is astoundingly small compared to the theoretically large range it could be. It has been measured to be about 100th million of an erg per cubic centimeter. Well, I bet that's the same thing you measured as Johnson with. Just kidding, man. I got nothing against you. We happen to live in a universe with a small dark energy value, allowing for expansion rather than contraction and for the emergence of life. Okay, yeah. If it wasn't for dark energy, you couldn't have life. Sounds like a yin and a yang. You got your dark energy and you got your light energy. And they are duking it out for supremacy or balance. Balance would be nice, wouldn't you agree? I would like a little balance, people. Physicists have found that for the last 7 billion years or so, galactic expansion has been accelerating. Yeah, because uh, for 7 billion years, we've been monitoring the outer reaches of our galaxy or something. I don't know. It's Saturday. This would be possible only if something is pushing the galaxies, adding energy to them. Scientists are calling this something dark energy. A force that is real, but eludes detection. So what's the difference I'm saying like God is a force that is real, but eludes detection? Can you tell me this, science boy? I'm just kidding, science boy. Hubble's law is the first observational basis for the expansion of the universe and provides strong evidence for the Big Bang model. Uh, excuse me, what is the strong evidence for the Big Bang model? I'm not uh, saying that the Big Bang didn't happen. I'm just saying, what is your strong evidence that you could present simply in front of a jury that would prove, oh yeah, the Big Bang happened? Yeah, I'm just saying that seems to be a theory rather than a fact because it's really hard to prove what happened 14.5 billion years ago. And you gotta remember that all the dudes that are trying to prove this crap, which won't affect your life very much, are getting paid a decent salary. So sometimes when you pay a dude well enough, he'll say anything you want him to, especially if you call him an expert and give him a freaking Nobel Peace Prize. You can get him to talk about peace and then kill a bunch of people with robots. You know what I'm saying? It's a crazy world we live in, man. It's like it's filled with dark energy. Yeah, man. Hubble constant is a critical parameter in cosmology, and the measurement of Hubble constant is a key task for the astrophysicists and cosmologists. You see, the galaxies are kind of like raisins. Oh, perfect. As the loaf rises, the raisins, which are far apart to begin with, rush even faster, Rice observed. It doesn't matter where you are in this loaf. Everything looks like it's moving away from everything else. Loaf makes me think of a turd. It doesn't matter where you are in this turd. Everything looks like it's moving away from from everything else. It sounds like society right now. Rice, who is a researcher at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, and a professor at John Hopkins University, was one of the recipients of the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery that the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate using images of very distant supernovae to derive what was considered the most accurate measurements to date of cosmic speed. And remember, we can't get off the moon as smart as we are. We can figure out all this crap, but and we can't get back to the moon, even though we can figure out everything in the universe outside of our solar system. We really don't know much about our own solar system, and our human space exploration program has been stuck in the mud for a very long time. Just thought I'd throw that out there. We know there's gravity because apples fall from trees. We can observe gravity in daily life. If we could throw an apple to the edge of the universe, we would observe it accelerating. All right, prove it, dude. Why don't you throw an apple to the edge of the universe and prove your theory? And I guess you don't have to. You already won a Nobel Peace Prize. That's kind of like confirming your theory, right? Asterisk. LOL. What? Grr. Until the 1990s, the world was not submerged in dark energy. But then at the turn of 1999, things changed. There were few reliable observations about the movement at the scale of the entire universe. Which we don't have. We don't even know where it ends, man. You know, it's like if you stand on a beach, you can't see the whole globe. Jeez. Which is the only scale dark energy affects. I don't know what that means. So dark energy could not have been seen until we could measure things very, 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 very far away. What? What? The, okay. That's, there's dark energy all around Earth, man. There's dark energy, you know, saturating society now. I can feel it, can't you? If you can't, just get on Twitter or check the news app, you know? It's very dark. It's like Voldemort is in control. And I'm not a fan of that. Before his and his colleagues' discovery, many scientists had posited 
the rate at which the universe was expanding was decreasing. Rice was awarded the Nobel Prize in conjunction with Brian Schmidt, who, like Rice, was a member of the Hazy Supernova Search Team, and Saul Perlmutter, head scientist of the Supernova Cosmology Project, a competitor to Rice Team, which published a paper in 1999 corroborating the results of Rice's 1998 paper. Oh, so this is the dude who kicked off the dark energy decade and a half, right? Wonderful, man. Dark energy, improving everybody's quality of life since 1999. Sweet. God bless everybody. <sighs> Whatever. Man, I hope February is awesome, you know? We need to turn this shit around because it's too dark. It's too depressing. Everybody's too angry. Everybody's too mad. And we're mad as hell. We're not going to take it. Dark matter world. Oh, we are seeing dark matter world, man. It's tripping. Well, what do you know? This is the dark matter matter. Dark matter, antimatter, gold. Pure gold.